Hey guys, Lay Boy Scout here, and this is the Catamount Fury 2 from Century Arms. 12 gauge semi auto shotgun patterned after the AK, as you can plainly tell. There's some interesting features on this gun that I look forward to getting into on a future review, but today I want to do sort of a first shots video. standard very short sight radius sights on it. That's the rear sight right here, front blade right there. You can see that there's a built-in Picatinny rail that appears to be riveted onto there. You can see those little holes where it's riveted through. So let's just get a few shots down range and try to have a first impressions video of this gun. Five round magazine first off. Get that safety off. You got to ra raise your hand all the way up there and pretty much break your grip from here in order to get that safety off because you cannot reach it from here at all. Charge it up. Let's see how it does. We got a 10 round mag ready to go as well. Let's see how that sucker does. Well, just kind of let it slide forward I guess. It took it. Cool. We've got a slight issue there. We are shooting birdshot through this thing. And this is some of the less reliable stuff too. Some of the first rounds you saw shot was a Remington. That runs really well for me, that birdshot. Other brands, I never quite know how they're gonna do. That was a live shell. Mm-hmm, live round. It failed to, failed to go into battery. Failed to go into battery on that one. Locked back, <laughs> and we just saw that bowling pin in half. <laughs> I don't think I'm done today. Let's put a few more rounds through it. Yeah. Now, these are not the easiest to load. You sort of have to push hard and kind of wiggle it until you find just the right spot where they want to go down. They go. It's worth mentioning that I don't have a ton of experience with semi auto shotguns. I've been using my pump Remington 870 for many years, but uh, semi autos have never been all that attractive to me because I kind of like the manual action of the pump. This, so, this is the first semi auto that I've gotten into for extended testing and, and trying out. Century Arms did send this to me as a TE gun. Other semi autos I have tried, but just not in an extended way. So this is gonna be the first time I've been able to get a hold of a semi-auto for extended period, but not only that, this is the first time I've tried one with a magazine, or I should say a disconnectable magazine, which is kind of a fun factor as well. Let's try a little high ready. back. I gotta say this stock is interfering slightly with my hearing protection. It wants to kind of push it up. Also this little section right here is rubberized. You can almost tell that by looking at it. If I squeeze it, how it comes in like that. That's good for locking your cheek into and the butt pad as well, but um, it does kind of want to interfere with your face a little bit, with your hearing protection a little bit. Is it pulling be, your beard? You know, the beard, yeah, especially. <laughs> Yanking some hairs out of the beard. Where'd you go this morning, honey? I was just out shaving. <laughs> I was just out shaving. Yeah. To stage that safety, from this position, I've got to have my hand completely broken from the grip. So let's see how it, how it works to kind of disengage the safety, get a grip, and then get on target. Go to that plate.
With some practice, you can do it. You can disengage that safety, acquire that grip on the way up to your shoulder. I would really love for this grip to be, and the trigger, whole trigger assembly to be a little further forward like any other AK. In fact, you can kind of see how that's blocked off where it had been before. I would love to have that moved up forward, have the grip where it ought to be, and then the safety will be easy to access. However, that's a lot of work, and you might have to pay somebody a lot of money to make that change. So what we're really gonna do is evaluate this gun as it is, and help you decide if this is a shotgun that you wanna get into. The safety on mine while I'm thinking about it, wants to ride all the way up. You can see the little indent where that is supposed to lock up to. And it will, if you set it there, but it wants to go much higher, which makes rolling that safety off, you know, take a little bit longer than you expect it to. You could just kind of use a little more of a gross motor movement, get it from the very top of there, and just sweep the whole thing off, rather than looking for that paddle right there and trying to do it. Either way would probably work, but you gotta be a little more positive if you're doing it that way. It hates that red brass, mm -hmm. or that, uh, those red shells. Does not like them. Stick with the Remington. This thing will run pretty well. Federal through this gun? No, no good. Don't do it. It doesn't feel very punishing, actually. All right, we're almost done here. A few last shots through the Catamount Fury 2, and we'll have a few last thoughts. We are fully loaded. Catamount Fury 2 from Century Arms. I'm liking it a lot so far. This is one of the funnest shotguns I've ever shot. I mean, this thing gets on target and stays on target. It is a semi-auto, obviously, so you've got the, the fact that you don't have to rack it and all that going on. However, just the way that that thing mitigates recoil, maybe it's the weight, I don't know what it is, but uh, getting on target and staying on target with this thing is pretty easy. That may be worth an investment if you're looking for a good semi-auto shotgun. There should be a lot of these on the market right now from Century Arms, so check them out. You might really enjoy picking one of these up. I'm the late Boy Scout. That's been the first shots with this Catamount Fury 2 from Century Arms. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. There's a DP-12 pump action double barrel shotgun. Two magazines, two barrels. I'm excited for this. Download yeah, pictures of this gun right, yeah. on Hillary Clinton's private email server, yeah. open to the public. She said so. What difference at this point does it make yeah, right that I shot a rabbit with that gun? Yeah.